in the realm of aviation history. An extraordinary aircraft soared with unparalleled prowess the B-2 bomber. Its tale began on a momentous night, April 8, 1999, where Major Tom Bussier found himself seated in the mission commander's chair aboard the B-2 stealth bomber. As Major Bussier peered into the inky darkness, flashes of lightning danced below amidst monstrous thunderstorm clouds. The B-2 had already endured a grueling 14-hour non-stop flight to enemy territory during the Kosovo War, and the mission was far from over. Months of round-the-clock operations weighed on the B-2 pilots, but an even more perilous task awaited them. For the first time in history, two B-2 bombers embarked on a mission into enemy airspace without any support from Allied aircraft. The weather over Yugoslavia was chaotic, but crucial targets had to be hit. The B-2 wasn't invisible, but its stealth capabilities made it incredibly difficult to detect and track. Still, danger loomed, as an enemy F-117 fighter had been shot down just days before in the same airspace. Armed with highly secretive stealth technology and smart bombs called Joint Directed Attack Munitions, the B-2 lacked defensive weapons and the speed to outrun enemy missiles or fighters. The pilots knew that discovery could lead to their demise. Nevertheless, Major Boussier and his fellow pilot were determined to complete their dangerous mission. They prepared for combat, securing their gear and readying themselves for the task ahead. With focused determination, Boussier pushed the PEN button configuring the jet to maximum stealth mode. The two bombers set off, alone and unafraid, flying deep into enemy territory. The B-2 had captivated the world's attention ever since its unveiling on November 22, 1988. Its futuristic and sinister appearance left everyone in awe. The aircraft's flying wing design, reminiscent of a certain movie villain's helmet, further added to its mystique. But after the initial excitement, the B-2 faced uncertainty as the Soviet Union collapsed and the expensive program was almost cancelled. However, the B-2 proved its worth during the Kosovo War. Equipped with a massive payload and superior stealth capabilities, the B-2 was virtually unaffected by poor weather conditions. It struck Serbian targets with impressive precision and played a crucial role in ending the war. But the B-2's journey did not end there. Over the years, the aircraft underwent constant upgrades, and its pilots formed a closely knit, diverse cadre. The B-2 pilots came from various aviation backgrounds, ensuring the seamless integration of the stealth bomber with other aircraft during complex missions. Despite its limited fleet, the B-2's future remained bright. While the newer B-21 Raider entered the scene, the Air Force continued to invest in the B-2 and the B-52. The B-2 received substantial upgrades, assuring its longevity and prowess on the battlefield. As the story goes, Major Boussier and his fellow pilots returned home safely, having successfully completed their 30-hour mission. For their extraordinary achievements and bravery, they were awarded the Distinguished Flying Cross, a true testament to their skills and the power of the B-2. And so, the legend of the B-2 bomber continued to grow, forever etched in history as a remarkable and fearsome aircraft that proved its metal time and again. Its legacy would live on, inspiring future generations of pilots and admirers, a symbol of unparalleled strength and capability in the skies.